Hello and welcome to another video. Sometimes the way a problem looks might scare you, okay? And you go, I don't know how to do this. But just look at it. Use substitution. Okay, so let's focus our minds on use substitution. The only problem you might have or the only difference we might have in our approach is what we choose to be our you. For me, I like taking everything under the square root sign to be the U for my U substitution. So we go to the problem, oh, there are two square root signs. So which one should I choose for my U? Should I choose this one or should I choose the entire function that is under the bigger, oh, the cube root. So this is a cube root, this is a square root. Well, because this is the bigger problem for me, the bigger one is what I'm gonna choose. So the argument of the cube root function becomes my U. So this is how we're gonna start. We're gonna say, let U be equal to five plus the square root of X. And with that, we will investigate if it's possible for us to replace dx with du without making things more complicated. If it gets more complicated, such that you cannot integrate, you need another kind of um, help, then maybe that's not the best choice. Um, so, let's take the derivative of u and see what we get. So we know that du is going to be, this is gonna to go to zero, and the derivative of half of x I mean, square root of x is one half of one over square root of x, okay, dx. So that's the derivative of d, that's du, okay? Now, what we're looking for is, we're trying to see if we can replace dx without needing to write x, okay? However, it doesn't look like that because we've got square root of x as part of the derivative. It should have been nice if we had square root of x sitting outside of this function, but there's no square root of x sitting. So let's see how we can replace dx, because now with the function, with this substitution we've done, what we have here is the, let's write it here. So this would mean the integral of the cube root of u, which would be the cube root of u dx. You see, the problem is we want to replace this with du, but right now, if I try to do that, it doesn't work. What can I do? You go back to your substitution. This will always happen, okay? Go back to your substitution here and say, is there a way I can write square root of x in terms of u? Obviously, from here we can see that u minus five will be the square root of x. <laughs> you see how easy it becomes, okay? u minus five is the square root of x. So this expression that we have here can actually be written as du equals one half of one over, instead of writing square root of x, you're gonna write u minus five, okay? So here we can say that du equals one half of one over, what is square root of x again? It's u minus five. Oh, that's beautiful. So that means um, we have dx here, okay? So we can go here and say that um, if you multiply this and bring it to the side, you're gonna have two times u minus five du is equal to dx. Whoa, now we're able, there's no um, square root function. We're able to find something that's linear and linear functions are easy to multiply or even integrate. And now we're gonna replace dx with two times u minus five du. You see, you always go back to the equation. If you don't know how to do this, watch my other video on the five sample problems I did for u substitution, and this wouldn't be a problem. So with this, we're done, because this is the most difficult thing. So I'm gonna go back here and say that this expression here, the cube root of u dx, 
Um, I wrote this temporarily, okay? You shouldn't do this unless you want to integrate U with respect to X, but this is not the best. So I'm gonna replace the DX because that's the mission. You wanna replace DX with DU, okay? So I should not have written this in the first place. So I'm going to get rid of this, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of this and say this is equal to the cube root of u, see, that's the function, the cube root of u multiplied by dx. And what is our new dx now? It's going to be 2 times u minus 5 du. So it's going to be times 2 times u minus 5 du. This 2 can come over here, so we have the integral, we're going to have 2 here, the integral of u to the 1 third, that's what it is, times u minus 5 du and as you can see this can be distributed this would be equal to 2 times the integral u times u to the 1 third will be u to the 4 thirds you see that and then u times negative 5 is going to be minus u to the sorry minus 5 u to the 1 third here we go du okay so now we have something that's easy to integrate. I'm going to leave the 2 outside and then I'm going to integrate this. If I integrate this, it's going to be u to the, remember what I said, just add 3 to 4, you're going to get 7 and keep the denominator and then you divide by 7 thirds also. Okay, minus, well, I'll have to distribute the 2 again. So 2 times 5 is going to be minus 10 and if I integrate this, it's going to be u to the 3 plus 1 is 4 thirds divided by four thirds okay and, and that's it plus c so all i need to do is algebra that's all that's left so if i flip this i'm gonna on this side end up with six over seven u to the seven thirds minus if i flip this i'm gonna end up with 30 over four 30 over four is 15 over two interesting that's 15 over 2 and this is going to be u to the 4 thirds plus c. So your last move is just to replace u with what we said u was, 5 plus square root of x and that's it, just replace it and leave it. Okay, but if you want to clean things up, um, you might say this is going to be 3 u to the 4 thirds and what is left on the inside is going to be 2 over 7 u to the 2 over 7. If you divide this by u, to, see I factored, so factoring means you're using it to divide each of the terms. So if I divide this by u to the 4 thirds, it's going to be 7 thirds minus 4 thirds. That gives me 3 thirds, which is just 1. So it's u to the first power. It's just u. And because I factored out u to the 4 thirds from here, there'll be no more u to the 4 thirds. What is left is just 5 over 2 here, minus 5 over 2. Oh, plus C. Yeah, so we could have, this is 3u to the 4 thirds multiplied by 4u minus 35 over 14, over 14, okay? And this 14 can actually come out here since it's multiplication, so I can put 14 here. Okay, and just leave this as 4u minus 35, okay? We don't have enough space for this. This is clean up, we're done with the integration. Calculus is done, this is just algebra we're doing. Okay, minus 35. Okay, and finally, remember we cannot leave the u like this, we have to replace it with what we have here. Now, if you replace this, your answer is gonna be three over four times, this is gonna be five plus square root of x, five plus square root of x multiplied by, I don't want to write this answer straight because I know when I write, watch this, let's do it here, 4 times 5 plus square root of x, okay, that's your 4u, where is it, 4u minus 35, it's going to end up as 20 plus 4 square root of x minus 35, so we're going to have 4 times square root of x, 20 minus 35 is minus 15. So it's going to be 4 root x minus 15.
that's it. It's even cleaner than I thought it was going to be. And that's my answer. Let's, hey, not 3 over 4, 3 over 14, come on. And that's the answer we're going to get. I hope you learned something. Give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share, give it a comment in the comment section. See you in the next video. Don't stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.